everybody, it's Christina Dennis, and I'm in for a Mindful Monday. And I had a lot going on this weekend. I think I popped in and talked a little bit about Saturday and taking the break and letting myself know it's okay to take a break. And, um, you know, I, was, I continued to be a little tired for the rest of the weekend. But I, what I want to talk about mostly today and what I want to share is how I deal and how I dealt let me start again. How I deal with generalized anxiety. Every Monday I wake up, um, maybe not every Monday, but most Mondays I wake up with a little bit of a stomach ache. Um, it's generally because I'm transitioning from working uh, on my side job on the weekends where I do a lot of physical work and I'm standing on my feet and I talk to a lot of people uh, to coming into more of a coaching position with others and uh, my son returns from his father's on Monday. And so I go back to being a full-time special needs mom and everything that entails, uh, or everything that that entails, plus breaking on transformational self-empowerment and how uh, I want to you know, bring certain projects uh, to fruition. And so some of this anxiety is, uh, is something that I seek um, or is a result of the things that I seek. Um, because I choose to live a very full life. But, and however, <laughs> that doesn't necessarily make it feel good. And it certainly does not help um, me get started um, on Monday morning. So I wanted to share a few of the tips that I have and uh, a little bit of the conversation that I was having this morning with one of my, um, for lack of a, a better word, power partners, or, you know, that seems kind of corny, but it truly is what she is. I have for the last couple of years worked with somebody every, um, walked with somebody every Monday morning um, as a way to get out of bed, get going, and get myself started uh, with the week. And I love it. And at the same time, I want to cancel all the way up until, you know, two minutes before I'm supposed to be there. Because there's a part of me that wants to stay in bed, scroll on social media, uh, give myself, you know, the discussion of you deserve to rest. This is your only time that isn't necessarily scheduled. However, that's not the best thing for me. And I'm all for balance and I'm all for taking care of myself and asking you to take care of yourself. However, I don't always know what's best for me. And I have learned over the years staying in bed when I have that pitter patter of my heart or generalized anxiety as I'm starting to call it, uh, has or low grade anxiety is what I like to say is not helping me giving into that. There are some days that I need to rest like Saturday afternoon when I popped in here and said, I'm going to rest. And there are days where I need to get up and start doing things for things that um, I want in my life and the life I want to choose. So having an appointment with a friend that I can be completely honest with is super important. I also stack another appointment up where I'm of service to somebody and I uh, do my best to be present for that person. And every time I leave, um, you know, I think I'm the one giving the service and I end up getting 10 times back. Uh, in regards to feeling. Doing this uh, commitment on Mondays, coming in with Mindful Monday is one of the ways that I make sure that uh, the low-grade anxiety isn't going to take me over the edge. Um, and I fight it all the way up uh, to doing it, but I do it anyway. And I'm not talking about, you know, fear gripping or uh, emotions that are overwhelming, that are there to give you a warning about something that you need to address. I am talking about my nervous system being programmed after a lot of years of trauma, uh, childhood trauma, being a special needs mom, you know, uh, an addict, a recovering addict in very stressful jobs. This is the nervous system I've been left with. And as I was walking with my friend today, I realized that one of the most important things that I can do is share about that and let you know how normal it is if you're suffering or living through that and how I, although it is not fun, uh, overcoming it and being responsible for all of those self-loving activities that I just talked about in the scheduling is um, magnificent in its own way. Because if it's, it's the idea that I'm not supposed to feel the way I'm feeling on a Monday morning. That usually puts me in way more suffering than the actual anxiety that's showing up. 
if I can take a minute and sometimes it's just rote. I just get up because I have a commitment and I don't want to let my friend down. That's when I think a codependency card, just like a court card in an AA meeting, is not a bad thing. Um, and when I got there, I, I because I've spent the time uh, putting my, my social circle into a place of people that challenge me and also want the best for me, I could share with her how I wanted to cancel up until two minutes before, how... Uh, I wanted to use excuses of why I couldn't come and why I was so glad that she showed up and didn't give me a hard time when I said I was going to be a few minutes late. And of course, you know, her response is, of course, you know, absolutely. Uh, we give ourselves grace. And when you hang around people like that, it makes it a lot easier to be human and transparent. And through that is where I think the strength is gained to keep pushing forward. So now I look at the fact that I have a nurse's nervous system that is a little on, on tilt. Uh, it tends to show up Monday mornings because I've just finished working, you know, a full, almost a full work week in four days with a lot of people. And that Monday morning, although I have the very right, I have absolutely the right to take it easy if I need to, it's not always the best thing for me. You know, I need to get up and have some very loving uh, people in my life in the mornings and take the action to push through the low grade anxiety so it does not rob me of the good moments. Um, so I guess I just wanted to share uh, my perspective and what happens and hopefully make it a little more comfortable if you're in that same boat um, for you to realize that, you know, we are a product sometimes of our environment. We do move through things, not always uh, with the feeling of comfort or ease. Some things are hard, but that doesn't mean that we can't get through them. And it doesn't mean that it will last. So there's the lawnmower. It's cute for me to get off. And I will talk to you soon. Take care, guys and ladies.